Right, so this is a big kiln uh, for make, making cement, did you say? It makes cement. Anson cement. Oh, I've done a couple of Anson sites. So we've got an overhead crane here. And that one is 20 tonne. And little one is 3 tonne. So what's these plates going to make? These are going to be rolled up. The cylinders, aren't they? They're going to be rolled. How the hell do you roll them? I roll the rope up and so they don't send them out. Oh dear. Side of here. Wow! All side to side, they get welded together. I think it, that's for some major construction oh, somewhere. Yeah, a, big frame a big frame underground. underground. This here. See that down at the bottom of the yard? There's, there's four curved sections there. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. Them, and it's for a tunnel boring machine down in London. Oh, for underground, uh, for making tube. Yeah, we've got all, yeah, all sorts for new sewer, what they've had in London, and all sorts. Of right. Yeah. So you're mega busy all the time. All this you tell me about, you don't do out here. It's rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I know you're only well, pulling me like. We do all these old manky repairs for, for boxes like that and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's not a manky repair. You, a manky I'm repair. sure you make brilliant yeah. repairs. Well, 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 we have to. Yeah, of course you, got, you do. You've got to be fit for purpose. When yeah, you don't, you don't do old manky at this place. Most don't like doing it, but it's, you know what I mean? It's Mucky dirty job. Uh, yeah, it's not a nice So clean. what's this here without bolts in bottom? These here, these are, we've just, they've just come by and they've been for load testing. They're two lifting beams. What, for like a crane? Yeah. Right, okay. The crane goes on this side and they move shackles and what have you to adjust whatever they want balancing on, on the side on that. So is, is that how it's going to be or is it going to turn 90 it, degrees? Yeah, it, it should it turn 90 degrees. Right, so those links are going to hang yeah. underneath. No, they're, they're on top. That's oh, they're underneath. on top. Oh, right, got yeah, you. There's two of you, right? That's underneath, so they've got infinite adjustment up and down. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah. so yeah. the bottom one is identical to this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, just opposite way around. Oh, just opposite way around. Yeah. Wow. Look at the size of that. I think you can't really see on camera how thick that is. But just look, look at that. That's 66, a, 66 66 millimeter. I don't know. God, you've got it must be brilliant working here. I've only worked here since 1972. I know, you <laughs> told me last time. All right. That was when you left school, wasn't it? Same I've left. Come back. Well, I've been here, I've been forming 20 odd years. Eh? All right. Yeah. So, well, that satisfy you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to fly a drone over as well. All right. Get some aerial shots. Uh, they're going Friday, them lifting beams. Those lifting beams are going Friday, yeah, right? Yeah. It's a shame. It's a shame. Because, uh, what is it? Monday? Two big cradles, what we made. What? TBM sits inside cradles. Right. And it's launched off them. All right. Yeah. So you're going to have some big load odors here to get them oh, on there, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. And where, how far are they going? Oh, they've gone. They've gone. They've gone no, I mean, that. no, the... Uh, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to do stuff for HS2 as well. HS2? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a lot of people won't like that, you know. No, I don't. I don't, I'm not, I don't like to broadcast that because we'll have pickets up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. You know, if you get pickets, I'll come and video them for you. It us busy. Well, you know, you've got a business to run. The environmentally friendly, what they're doing, ripping woods and forests. I don't, I personally, I don't agree with that, but it's time we spend some money on country. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they get loads spent down south, don't they? Yeah. Around it's London, all down south, isn't yeah, it? yeah. It's not coming up here anymore now, eh? yeah. So, I mean, you'll get you go to London, you can get a train or a tube any time of day, yeah, yeah. Around here, oh, buses shut down at eight o'clock at night, shite, yeah. If you want to go out for a drink, there's no public transport. Yeah. You've got to get a taxi. Yeah. Or don't have a drink. <laughs> That's right. Well, I mean, I, I was down London earlier this year. Um, I stopped at uh, Travel Lodge at Gatwick. Yeah. And even to get back there at two o'clock in the morning, you get on the train, it drops you off. Hotel's got a bus that comes and picks you up and takes you back to hotel. <laughs> you see, 
You see, Pat, I've worn up down here, can't you? <laughs> I can, yeah. I bet you I bet you spend a bit of time looking at him <laughs> coming out at Jim, don't you? Yeah, yeah. He's got his fucking camera for him, isn't he? It won't crack him one off. John, what's the word about looking at him? I can't see help for the as long as, as long as they're uh, of uh, an age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. are we happy? I can leave. You are right. Thank you very right, much, Ian. I'll see you again. I might. All right. I'll see you. Some safety bumps on next time. I might get it worked. I've got I've got some. <laughs> and I've in a hard hat. Don't wear a hard hat. All right. Okay. Don't worry if you see it drone though. There you go, what a cracking fella. Come and have a look round, I'll show you. Don't let Gaffer know though, because he's a miserable git. <laughs> we better not tell Gaffer he's a miserable git, had we? But just look at all this steel here. I was going to be operating crane now. They do some wonderful engineering stuff here. They really do. But the barbender's not working. Or oh, the bar bender's working, but the plate bender's not working. So they're having to send it out. Now that looks like that might be a bar bender there. I don't know, I don't know if it is. Even rubbish bin's massive. Even, <laughs> even rubbish bin must weigh close to a ton. Yeah, it looks like it's got some kind of rollers and stuff on it. Might be a bar bender. This place is super interesting. I'd love to get inside and have a real good look around. I really would. I absolutely love all this stuff. I think it's fantastic. Right. Let's get the old dread drone up and have a look around, shall we? Take off. Right, this is only the home point a, has been updated. a short Please drone video, I'm afraid, map. because the place isn't that big. I just want to get higher than the lampposts. There we go. But let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look at these cranes. Now from the air you can see a bit more of this steel stockpile they've got. Down the side of the cabin and the, like, the conveyor belt there. You can see they've got quite a bit. It's just, uh... oh, it's telling me low battery. Right, let's better fetch it back then. Change battery. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Landing. Here you go, it's landed. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Right, so you can see a little bit inside, not a great deal. They're loading a vehicle up there. They've got liquid nitrogen for some reason. Is it liquid nitrogen? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh no, it's color gas. One's color gas. 
I think the other one is liquid nitrogen. Yeah, it looks like it's very cold. Let's just swing the drone around a little bit. And have a look. Zoom in. VOC, yeah, liquid nitrogen. Swing the drone back a bit. Take her up. Yeah, look at all this steel they've got here. Must be thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds worth. Right, so they're gonna, it looks like they're either lifting something with the crane or they've already done it. Let's move back a little bit so we're out of the way. Zoom in. Oh, we are zoomed in. So I believe this one is uh, safe load is three tons. You still won't want to drop in on your toe, though, would you? Right. How you doing? Ah, uh, you know, under pressure but bearing up. Under pressure, but bearing up, mate. And these are those, uh, let's have a look down. These are those crane beams you were talking about. Those red ones there, look. They are some size beams then. The thickness and some of this steel and some of the weight that it will lift is absolutely phenomenal. And then further back, let's just go up a bit. And then further back, it was on about some some cylinders that they. Oh, there you go. You can see them now. You can see those cylinders. Let's just zoom out. There you go. You can see them a lot better now. These are the cylinders that you were on about that they've uh, curved, and these are going to be for uh, for the underground at London. And, uh, Going underground in London anyway, I don't know if they're actually for the underground. But uh, that's what they're for. Got some more curved pieces there, I don't know what they're for. The energy consumption at this place must be absolutely bloody phenomenal, it really must. You know, with all the... Uh, Steel bending and everything. <coughs> Is that going on a truck? Is that going on a truck? So where are you putting it now? Down at yard? Be going backwards because the crane's coming. Like he's lowering it on that other girder with some timber underneath.
Those chains that they're using, we used to call them brothers. If you've got two chains running off one link at the top. So we used to call them brothers. Here, yeah, I can see it a bit better now. Seven tons that, that safe working load on that crane. And that's it now. We'll probably fetch the crane back down this end. Take the hook up. And that's it, all done. Right then. Let's uh, start heading back, shall we? Take the zoom off. Right. Let's get her back. Let me get in an area where uh, I can land comfortably. Down she comes, nice and smoothly. Landing. And that's it, we're down. Right, that's completed at Haiti Engineering. What a fantastically interesting place to visit. Uh, like I say, I just wish I could get inside, I really do. It'd be awesome. But uh, maybe one day, you never know. I have to see if I can catch you in and come down with steel boots and things. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.